Hello everybody, it's Celeste here and welcome to A Crafter's Story. Thank you for stopping by. I've been wanting to make some birds, either draw them, paint them, collage them, I'm not sure. Um, and I finally came up with this idea. Um, I've got tons and tons of these little doilies that I got in a thrift store some, some time back and I've used them, you know, here, there and everywhere. But these little birds just, <clears throat> um, I, I think they turned out beautifully. So this is what I'm going to do with you today. Um, let me show you this little girl in her pretty pink outfit and then a sort of 4th of July type colouring. Um, and then I've got a more spring flower leafy one. And then a very summery leafy greeny one. So... Super easy guys, let me set this aside and we'll just start with the, with the basics. I'm going to need some water, I'm going to need um, some of these little um, doilies. A paper, this paper is really thin, um, it's, a, it's obviously meant for a one time use and so I'm having to be pretty careful with it and not be too too rough on the paper when I'm doing the or, or wetting it too much as well um, when I put the paint on so I'm going to use some of my watercolor paint I thought I still had my school grade watercolors which would have worked perfectly as well so let me get let's see if I get a little bit more light no nope, that's fine okay so let's see what should we do an orange one I don't pull up more or less have an orange one but let's get a little bit of the the orange down <coughs> on this one doily and no rocket science guys just a quick splash of color and then I'm going to do a different color on the other side <coughs> once this is dry um, but I'm not going to use these because they take a little while to dry. So I did some last night and I have them dry already. So that would have been an orange one. And then let's see, should we do, I would have done maybe a green. Uh, okay, so it's there. This is not, uh, this paper is not super absorbent which kind of makes sense since it probably would have sat underneath a, a glass um, and if it splashed on this little doily obviously they didn't want it to fall apart but it does seem a little fragile so I'm using a soft brush and that's it. That would be all I would do and then I would allow it to dry. So I'll set this aside and I'll get out the ones that I did last night um, and we'll work on those. Um, what I did do with these other ones is you might see that they're a little more saturated with color than perhaps this one here. Is because I let it dry and I came back and put a little extra color on them just to give them a little more saturation um, and if you don't have watercolors that is fine you could use these any of your markers or your paint pens um, what I wouldn't use is acrylic paint I tried and the acrylic paint Maybe it's just what I was using. I was using the Apple Barrel and the Folk Art acrylic paint and it's stuck. <laughs> the paper got stuck to that plastic board and uh, tore. So um, maybe if you have a, a different paint or maybe if I had watered down the paint a little bit, um, it might not have stuck. So what we do with these little these little guys let me just get one of my examples out again here it is is I basically just fold it in half all I'm going to do is fold it in half like that which is why I want this piece that sticks out to be a different color so let me bring you in a little bit like that better so I'm going to fold it so that just 
maybe a quarter sticks back out um, you'll notice that this one has a little bit more you might want to fold it so that more sticks out totally up to you you guys um, I think a quarter is probably a good measure so I'm going to fold that in half open it up and I think I should use a yellow I think that's going to look really nice um, in this section that sticks out I'm just going to color it you could come in here with more um, paint um, but I, I worry a little bit because this paper is so thin that it will compromise the the paper the structure of the paper so I'm going to and you don't have to obviously color the whole lot you only have to cover the color sorry <laughs> the bit that sticks out so I'm going to do that just color it in like that see <clears throat> um, I thought it was kind of fun because I was trying to figure out what to make and tell you it's like the crafting universe was speaking to me <laughs> and it kept showing me this shape and then it, I kept seeing birds and the shape and I thought oh, all right fine um, because I've seen the shape so much I thought well maybe if I can try and do it a different way and um, <clears throat> the crafting fairies was crafting fairies were saying no nope, you will be doing it this way <laughs> I was like oh, fine I will make my birds look the, this way. Okay, so that already looks really nice because we've got the two colors going. We need a little beak for our, our little bird's going to need a beak. And I think a yellow versus an orange because orange is too close to the red. So I think I'll give her a, um, a yellow beak. It's going to cut straight and then a little diagonal like that and before I glue together the two sides I'm going to put my little beak in here well I suppose I could do it all at the same time a little my glue like that don't need much Okay, and this little beak, and this is where you can start characterizing your little, um, your little bird, because do, does the beak go this way, because you're going to have her um, pointing down, picking at the ground, is it going to go up, is it going to go straight, I think with this one I'm going to go up, so I'm going to put this little beak facing slightly up, Close it down and we already have good construction going. I'm going to move this away because it's got glue on it and it's going to stick all over the place. Maybe stick glue would have been a better option. Hey, okay, now where is my punch? Oh, and to give her a little tail, I thought I'll get out some of my um just the uh, brain guys my brain's shutting down on me and i've had two cups of coffee <laughs> book pages i have got book pages <laughs> it's early in the morning and maybe i should have done some yoga or something to really get get my my brain to work properly okay so i'm going to get a heart just like that maybe I'll do all my hearts now or at least two or three of them um, there you go just like that I thought these made cute little tails I'm gonna get this inked up a little bit just to give it a little bit of an edge like that 
of glue bottom here just like that I really need to get a glue bottle with a smaller tip but I keep saying I'll do things and then I don't <laughs> all right life gets a bit busy right all right so there is my tail I've got the body the head the tail um, I'm allowing it to dry a little bit before I put the eye on because I've noticed that I've got a bit of glue sticking out there I'm going to use my black marker and some of my cardstock oops wrong one wrong side I want the thick side and um, I'm going to just color in this section here because I want to cut these out for the legs I don't want to paint onto my mat so let me do it do it like this I hope you guys had a good week mine has been busy which I love I love being busy um, I, th I think if anybody had to just put me in a corner and say sit there don't do anything don't say anything I will go bananas <laughs> I just like being busy I like doing things and um, so I write a lot and I craft a lot and I talk too much <laughs> okay so that's going to have to dry I see a little bit so maybe what I can do while it's drying is color in this blue one and let's see what color I'm trying to think what would look nice here it has to in my mind be a contrasting color so I think orange probably is a is a good option oh I folded it first didn't I so let me fold it first and get that like that all oh, this blue is really pretty I do see that I'm going to have to go a little further up with my orange because there's a bit of the brown sticking out here so I could either go in with a blue marker there or an orange but I think I'm going to go in with the orange it'll just be a little interesting spot of orange sticking through a little spot of orange guys this is going to be I think my favorite I just like the I love blue blue is my f absolute favorite color um, I really like that sort of aqua glue aqua glue aqua blue <laughs> third cup of coffee I need my third cup of coffee <laughs> just to speak and function um, I love blue aqua blue is definitely one of my favorites it's just so happy and fresh and alive and um, yeah so I'm a, I'm a blue color girl all right so this takes a moment and for some reason um, even though the watercolor is on the other side it did seep through a little bit and it's muting my orange so I might want to come back and put another coat of this orange onto this this side so I'll stick that to the one side I think we might be good to go here and I might be able to put a an eye and again now with the eye you can decide on the direction um, so let's see maybe she's looking she's looking up so I'm going to put my eye a little higher sort of over over there where's my white and today I think I'm going to use my white uni Posca pen I did use my uni ball um, gel pen for the other eyes but they tended to streak just a little bit so I think the paint pen might be a better option just to get the white around the iris and it doesn't have to be a black iris I guess do birds have blue or green or colored colored eyes I don't, don't know <laughs> I think they 
mostly black, right? Alright, let's see. There might still be a little bit of glue here, but I'm getting away with it. Yes, there we go. I've got, I'm going to have to come and put another layer there as well. Let's try that uni ball. No, I can't because I've got to let that dry. Okay, where is my black now? Now for the legs, we need legs. We can't have a legless little bird. So let me cut some, some legs for her. And up until now, I've just done little straight legs. But I realized, you know, I could have cut one of these little legs in half and kind of twisted it. So I'm going to try that with this one, just to do something a little different. And I just need one strip that I'm going to cut in half. Um, this was an old manila folder that I'm using up um, for the legs. Okay, and then I think this one I will cut in half. Turn her over. And let's get some legs on our little bird here. Like that. So is it, let's see front leg is going to be straight because she she can lean on her front leg right I think <laughs> and as if she's walking we can put this one here and then a little dollop just a tiny little dollop of glue there and let's see Going to leave her to dry. Ah, the leg is moving. <laughs> Don't move. Oh goodness. Okay, I'm going to move her up there. Just this Eileen glue does dry pretty quickly, so um, hopefully, hopefully I won't mess with it. So I'm going to try and work carefully on the side here. Just put a little bit of extra color. Um, so I don't know if it's my markers are drying up or if it's just the paper or if it's the dark blue under this marker that's pulling up I don't know um, I think it, I do have enough of the orange down for it to at least be a contrast to the blue when we fold it over and that'll work let's give this one a an orange beak I'm gonna go up um, I'll have to cut this way that okie dokie okie dokie artichoke and let's get some of our glue down along here and I said I'd use stick glue, and I've already forgotten. Oh man, I've got the memory of a strainer, guys. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's not a big deal. All right, so maybe we point this little beak down. And do a fold. Fold over like that. And I've, it, I don't really mind if it's not completely glued down because I feel like this is a wing and, you know, wings aren't stuck to the body of a bird. So if you have got a little bit of um, movement here, I am totally fine with that. Oh, so I'll move this off the paper so it doesn't stick to it. And should we risk it, guys? Should we risk it and pick her up? <laughs> Make it, don't make a mistake. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to wait. I'm going to make a mistake. All right. So she needs it. This, oh, wrong one. I need, need a tail for this little birdie. I wonder, should we give our birdies a name? I should name them, right? So that's Beatrice. Um, that's June. No, no, no. That's 
Yes, that's June. That's Beatrice. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, what do you guys think? What should we call her? I'll leave that up to you. Okay, we need a little tail. Little tail for this little one. Hey, little tail. Uh oh. And the tail also, directionally, can have, um, you know, can be down like that, can be up, sideways, back. This one's a little more up. Um, so you can play with the characters of your little birds in terms of, um, you know, the directions of things. So I'm going to leave this, I'm going to go off and let everything dry just a little bit. And then we can put legs and, and eyes on, on this little one. And then um, do a bit of a reveal. Something I like to do is to put um, maybe just like a little accent line here. And it could just be with some squiggles or some lines. Let's get this pen to work. <clears throat> just to kind of accentuate where the little um, trying to be careful not to knock that little leg off because it's still still drying a little bit and <clears throat> I've got impatient and I want to carry on just like that so she's now finished and ready to go into my journal or onto a card so let me move her just very carefully off to the side and I think it's time for <clears throat> this little one to get an eye so just a big blobby uh, like like that I think that's hmm I think I might have gone a little low on this one but you know what I'm gonna have to embrace it now so let me just put in the white oh maybe not maybe it's fine to come back I think and put another layer of white on for some reason my uni ball is not and maybe it's just because the glue is still a little bit wet there that's fine so legs time legs time for this little one so this time maybe I'll just go with some straight legs like that and these legs are a little wider but that's okay too and that I'm folding it in half and then if I can get my <laughs> scissors in there oh there here we go turn it around put some legs on give her a bit of a wing oops and then she's done too so you see you guys very very easy um, a lot of fun I think the only thing that I'm <clears throat> that I'm careful with is the that I don't put too much water on these doilies so I'll give it one coat of paint um, like I did with these let them dry and then come in with my second coat and I tend to you know try and lift them off the paper so they don't stick oh this one's already sticking a little bit <clears throat> just lift it off so it doesn't stick and tear and then let it dry come in with another color maybe you want to come in with markers maybe you want to put in some squiggles and circles oh actually that might be nice um, to give this front piece a bit of texture um, put down another layer of paint that could be nice and let's see maybe this one is walking how we do that like that okay bring her across and over and maybe this time I'll use gold pin here somewhere. I might have. Let's see if I can find it. <clears throat> yes, I've got this metallic marker and I think that could be nice if I just go with with dots because I think gold and blue go really nicely together. So I'll just go with a couple of dots all the way up to the tail and maybe, yeah, I'm definitely working with wet blue here and that's not great for the marker but I'll come back and put a little extra 
or maybe a, a maybe I'll do. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna go rogue. <laughs> Go bananas and put, go dotty. I'm going dotty. I think this is something different. Just because otherwise they're all going to look the same, right? I think it's nice if some of them have a little bit of extra something, something. Um, just a little extra bling. Oh, yes. Oh, goodness. Look at that. I like that a lot. Okay, so that is really nice. I like the fact that she's completely different to her sister's. Sisters and brothers, can have boy birds, of course. So there we go. <clears throat> and this one, have I forgotten something? I don't think I have. I think the process is finished. I just have to put a little extra white around that eye later on when all the glue is dried. And if you guys decide on names for for our different little birds, let me know. That could be fun. A little goofy fun. And these are going to be great um, <clears throat> when I put them into my journal. I think there are a couple of different things that I could do with them. You know, instead of putting the dots on that one there, perhaps I could write a little message. You know, reach for the stars, happy birthday, congratulations. That should fit in the space here when you put it on a card or in a journal or maybe just on an art journal page. So these are great for collage fodder as well. Well, I hope you have a ton of fun with this and that you comment below and let me know what you think. And if you tried it, um, hit that like button. I would love for you to come and visit with me again if you'd like to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.